Welcome back, my green loving community. And I'm so happy to be back talking to you about the thing we share, and that is the passion for plants. So today I want to talk about one of those tropical, lush, big, explosive plants that you can bring into your home to create a space. That vibe that you want, that tropical vibe in your home is the tree philodendron. And today I want to share the tips on how to care for it. The tree philodendron, aka the philodendron psyllium, is one of the most common house plants out there. It's probably because they change the look of any interior space instantly. These beauties originate from the warm spots of South America and can be found thriving in bunches on the jungle floor or climbing up large trees. For me, it's always important to understand where the plant thrives and lives in its natural habitat. With that being said, there are two things we can instantly take from that. One is that the tree philodendron likes warm weather. So make sure to keep it in a spot in your home that's above 60 degrees. So during the winter months, you wanna be mindful of those drafty windows and doors. Second, because it grows on the floor of the jungle, that tells us a bit about the type of light it might require. So for this plant, you're gonna to wanna to find a nice, bright, indirect spot for it. I know we talk about bright, indirect light a lot, but all plants would love this type of light. The brighter, the better. But please, please, please stay clear of direct sun. Again, the harsh sun of the afternoon will destroy the plant tissue and leave it with yellowish brown spots. Believe me, I know. Dappled or filtered light is best. When it comes to watering, there are two ways parents kill these plants. It's by over or under watering. And in most cases, it's over watering. A sign of overwatering is yellowing leaves, while a sign of underwatering is crispy brown tips. To avoid these, you're only gonna to wanna to water when the top two inches of soil are completely dry. But it's important that you use well-draining soil to help in the process. Next, make sure you have your friend in the pot that has a drainage hole. Once you're ready to water, pour over the soil slowly like you're doing a pour over coffee. Once you start to see water trickling out of the drainage hole and into the base tray, you've given your plant enough water. Let that runoff water only sit in that tray for 30 minutes, 30 minutes tops, just so that the roots can absorb any water it couldn't get a grasp of the first time it rushed through. After those 30 minutes, dispose of that extra water. Again, water sitting in a base tray is a no-go. This can cause root rot. And over time, root rot will destroy your plant. Because you're always looking to create the same type of environment the plant thrives in, in its natural habitat, you'll want to mist the plant at least once or twice a week when it's drier in your home. Adding a humidifier will also help this process. These wonderful plants can grow really large, so please make sure you have a nice spot for it in your home. One way to encourage growth is to rotate it towards the window every three weeks. And another is to repot once you start to see roots creeping out of the drainage hole. But be aware to only repot during the growth season. Speaking of growth and growth season, make sure to fertilize during this time. Lastly, if you're new to this plant and you just brought one home and now you're freaking out because you're starting to see a change in color in some of the more mature leaves, don't stress. That's just the plant acclimating to its spot, its new home. Over time, it'll get situated and you'll start to see new beautiful growth. So yeah, that's how you're gonna care for your tree philodendron, kinda of like all the other philodendrons you possibly have in your home. It's pretty simple. Pay attention to your plant, love it, and they'll love you back. I hope this video really helps you to care for those plants, but if you have another type of plant that you're hoping we can create a video for to share some plant tips, please, in the comments, let us know. And down the line, maybe we'll cover that plant. So, I truly hope this helps. And all of you, have fun.